Hi everybody and welcome to a video in which we are looking at the topic of prime numbers. We are simply going to get a definition of what a prime number is and look at a simple way to find out whether or not any given number is or isn't a prime number. Let's start then with a definition of what a prime number is. A prime number is any number that can only be divided by two different numbers. One of those numbers has to be the number one and the other number is the prime number itself. So if a number can be divided by anything else, it's not a prime number. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. We'll use the numbers 18 and 17. When we're having a look at what other numbers will divide exactly into 18, well, 18 will be divided by 1. 18 divided by 1 is 18. It can be divided by 1. 18 can also be divided by 18. Of course it can. 18 divided by 18 is 1. So it can divide by itself. However, 18 will also divide by 2 and it will divide by 9, and it will divide by 6, and 3. So, as soon as we realise that a number will divide by other things, as well as itself and 1, it is not a prime number. Now, let's have a look at number 17. 17 will divide by 1. 17 divided by 1 is 17. 17 will also divide by itself. 17 divided by 17 is 1. However, when we start to look for other numbers that might divide exactly into 17, we find there aren't any. It will not divide by 2 or 3 or 5 or 7. These are the only two numbers that will divide exactly into 17. Therefore, number 17 is a prime number. Let's have a look at another couple of rules regarding prime numbers. First of all, the number 1. Well, the number 1 can be divided by number 1, and of course it can also be divided by itself, because that is also 1. But the definition of a prime number is it has to be divided by 1 and itself, and they have to be different numbers. Therefore, number one is not a prime number. Let's have a look at number two. Number two can be divided by one. Two divided by one is two. It can also be divided by itself. There are no other numbers that you can divide two by, therefore two is a prime number. And the important thing to remember is that two is the only even prime number. Every other prime number is odd because, of course, any larger even number, you can divide it by 2. The first four prime numbers are the ones that you need to remember. They are 2 and 3 and 5 and 7. If you can remember these four, there is then a simple way to find out whether any other number is prime. So, what's the magic way of finding whether or not a number is a prime number? Well, let's just have a look at the numbers from 1 to 100. We did say that the number 1 was not a prime number, so we will miss that one out. Now, we also said that number 2 is the only even prime number. So, what we're actually able to do on a table like this is to get rid of all the other even numbers. Don't forget we can do that because we know that all the other even numbers they all divide by 2 so they can't be a prime number. What do we have left? Well think about the column here which says 5, 15, 25 they're all in the 5 times table so all these numbers that end in 5 they all divide by 5. Don't forget we said 5 was a prime number so we can get rid of all the multiples of 5. Now, what we have left are potential 
prime numbers. Let's have a closer look at them. First of all, there are two that stand out here, the 2 and the 5. Well, we know that they are already prime numbers. They're in the first four that we've already memorized. But in fact, if you look at the numbers that we have left now, apart from the 2 and the 5, all the others end in either a 1, a 3, or 7, or a 9. So, apart from 2 or 5, if you are asked whether a number is a prime number, if it doesn't end in 1, 3, 7, or 9, it is not a prime number. So, how do we find out which of these numbers are prime? And the simple answer is we try two different tests. We try dividing them by 3, and we try dividing them by 7. If they will divide by 3 or 7 exactly, they are not prime numbers, and if they don't, they are. So, summarise the rules then. First of all, remember the first four. They are 2, 3, 5 and 7. After those, all prime numbers end in 1, 3, 7 or 9. So there are no even numbers except for the number 2. If you do have a number that finishes 1, 3, 7 and 9, to find out whether it is prime, you divide it by 3 or 7. If it doesn't divide, it's a prime number. Another skill that might help you recognise prime numbers is having a good knowledge of your times tables. Here are the times tables up to 12. You'll notice that I've greyed out the 1 times table because they're not really times tables, they're just counting. After that, however, all these are the times tables from 2 to 12. And quite simply, it means that every number in these times tables must be divided by something. So 54, you can divide it by 9 or by 6. 63 divides by 7 and 9. Therefore, if a number appears in the times tables, it cannot be a prime number. Another good reason to memorise your times tables. So I hope that's cleared a few questions up for you. I think a good way forward from prime numbers is to look at factors and prime factors. So I'm going to put a link to that video at the side of me here. If you found it useful, please do subscribe and have a look at some of my other videos. Thank you.